Okay, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Jovel. Ayan, isang mga pagpahala at isang napakagandang morning, umaga po sa ating lahat. Okay. Okay, ito po ang division of Davao Oriental Webinar on Radio-Based Lessons, Script Writing, and Broadcasting for Self-Learning Reviews. Para simulan po ang ating programa, inaanyayahan po ang lahat ng maglaan ng katahimikan para po sa ating panalangin at ating pabantawat sa pamamagitan ng pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Thank you. 
Okay, magandang umaga muli sa ating mga kaguluhan sa Division of Davao Oriental. Muli po ako si Ginoong Alvin M. Jordan mula po sa Sigaboy Agricultural Vocational High School at aking kasaman po. Ako naman po si Ginoong Jovila Sijirang na proud na proud po galing po sa mga babang paaralan ng Haji Jamberi Musa. Ayan. Okay, ayan. So partner, kumusta kayo dyan sa, uh, sa pwesto? Maayos ba tayo dyan? Okay, okay po tayo partner. Okay. So ngayon nga po magkakaroon tayo ng webinar session po para sa ating radio-based lesson script writing and broadcasting for self-learning modules. At um, maya-maya po ay ipa-flash po namin yung mga link para po sa submission po ng output. Link po for questions at link for attendance. Yung attendance po ay mamaya pa pong hapon ipa-flash po ng ating ICT at mamaya hapon pa po kayo maka-access sa ating attendance. Uh, para po sa mga bahagi po ng ating programa ngayong araw na ito, yung unang bahagi po ay meron po tayong preliminary activities. Ikalawang session, pagsisimula po ng ating morning session kung saan yung mga uh, kasamahan po nating kaguruan ay magkakaroon po uh, 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 para sa uh, ibang topics po ng ating Uh, webinar na ito. At mamayang hapon po ay magkakaroon din po tayo ng mga sample broadcast at yun po yung inyong pagbabasihan para sa inyong simulation po bukas. So para po sa kaalaman ng lahat, meron pong tatlong radio station na magkakaroon po ng live simulation po bukas. Ano nga po yan, Sir Jovel? Yan, meron po tayong station yeah. po sa Baganga Station at saka meron din po tayo sa Lupon Station. And of course, meron din po tayo sa San Isidro Station. Okay. So yung mga uh, taga-sangga at uh, lupon, inaasahan po na na mag sa inyong mga radio station. Kaya uh, so habang kayo po ay ihanda na po ninyo yung inyong script para bukas. Okay. So simulan na natin sir uh, sa pagkakatodan ko po sa ating screen si... Uh, Ma'am Geraldine D. Borgos, ang Education Program Supervisor po natin sa Filipino para po sa press participants and trainers. Gigi? Yes, magandang umaga po sa lahat. Okay, una-una sa ating pinakamamahal na pansangay na tagapamanihala, si Sir Reynaldo P. Meliorida. Sa ating kawaksing tagapamanihala, Dr. Esther Jean Yertilayo. Sa ating happy ng tagapagpatupad ng curriculum, Maria Concepcion K. Wong, na mga pangkulot na tagapagpatupad. Mga kalahok na mga tulo para sa webinar na ito kung sa radio-based instruction. Okay, meron po tayong technical problem. Okay, nakabalik po siya. And Gigi, okay na po tayo ma'am. Yan, yeah, maraming salamat po ma'am Gigi. Yan po ang ating supervisor. Katurang Pilipino sa sangay ng sapo. Okay. 
मान जी जी पर ay nanyayahan ko sa ating screen si Wong ang OIC and CID chief po natin para sa kanyang opening remarks okay so Maya maya po maririnig po natin yung message ni Ma'am. Pero sa ngayon po, uh, una muna natin pakinggan yung traditional message po na ihahatid sa atin ni Ma'am Esther Jean Upilayo, ang ating superintendent. Ma'am? Hello, good morning everyone. In behalf of the school's division superintendent, Mr. Rinaldo B. Meliorida, my special greetings to all our constituents, this division, Division of Davao Oriental. Of course, the program will not be realized without the leadership of our frontliners in the Curriculum Implementation Division, headed by our OIC CID Chief, uh, Maria Concepcion K. Wong. So we have the Education Program Supervisor, Ma'am Nancy P. Sumagaysay, in charge of English. We also have our Education Program Supervisor in Filipino, Ma'am Geraldine B. Borgos. Also, we have the LRMDS Manager, Ms. Susan Salazar. And of course, our PDO, Mr. Mark Phil Tagsip. And also our Information Technology Officer, Francis Vic Alicando. So, despite of the coronavirus affecting our country and a lot of educational challenges, here we are living like normal, but not fine normal. This is what we call as the new normal, where we all experience a global crisis, and that may also give a greater impact to our learners. So amidst the pandemic situations, we have our learning continuity plans where we have possible delivery modes. We have three. Uh, first is what we call as the dis online distance learning and under this is the digital modular distance learning and second is the printed modular distance learning. Second is we have the TV radio um, based instruction and the third is the blended delivery modes. So my dear friends, with regards to the assessment, our teachers here have this individual learning um, monitoring plan and that they will be using that for uh, to observe the progress of our learners. So the Department of Education, my friends, is widening the access to education despite the pandemic. And they've secured an alley in the radio-based instruction for this upcoming school year. And this is through the National Telecommunication Commission headed by our Commissioner Cordoba. And he has requested all the TV or radio broadcast educational materials and instructions as part of the department's basic education learning continuity plan. Oh, since the DepEd now is still prohibited to have the face-to-face -face instruction, then with uh, our radio-based instruction here in our division is one of the three main setups with the modular and the online learning as other options. So our department is uh, very determined to strengthen education delivery through the TV or the radio. 
So just recently, we have the MOA signing between the, the Davao Oriental State College, our SDS, the de representing the Department of Education, and the Honorable Mayor uh, Hustina B.U. And this radio broadcasting broadcasters, uh, we have um, a lot of uh, teachers who will be our teacher broadcasters. So the the radio DXNQ FM Radio Kalumunan. Oh, yan ang tawag doon. Uh, and then this radio uh, DXFNQ is uh, not only limited to the San Isidro districts but also in other municipalities yung merong mga signals doon at makakarinig ng mga instructions. So this has been used also before during the ALS. They have this RBI no, until this time. And so by this time, it's not only the ALS that will be using the RBI, but all of us uh, compared to, of course, we have a few access of our learners when it comes to the the computers and other gadgets because uh, not all of our learners have these gadgets. So I think this is better uh, to have the RBI, yon, radio broadcasting, uh, radio broadcasters instruction. And so my dear friends, let us just keep safe, um, avoid any infectious disease, and let us all uh, have our vitamin C to elevate our immune system uh, so sa lahat thank you so much and to all our frontliners salamat kaayo sa inyong kakugi o padayon sa pagpalambo sa atong edukasyon sulong edukalidad maayong buntag sa tanan ayan maraming salamat po sa ating OIC SPS po ma'am Mr. J. Pilayo at ngayon naman po ay ating pakinggan ang rasyonali po na ibibigay po sa atin sa ating nag-iisang Diyosa ng Sangay ng Davao Oriental. Ating pakinggan, walang iba. Miss Nancy Sumgaysa. Palapakan naman dyan. Thank you, Jo. Diyosa ng trabaho. Good morning, Davao Oriental. We would like to laud the efforts of our school's division superintendent for heading this webinar because he believes that with broadcasting, we can augment our most, of the, the dominant uh, approach we're going to make this pandemic, which is in modules. So expect that ideally the modules should have been supported with radio broadcasting. So while we have trainers in each district, and while the national and the regional offices are likewise preparing for corresponding broadcast, radio broadcast for each of the modules, while they are not yet available, expect that we will just somehow say and tell that in a particular district, this particular module should be augmented with a radio broadcast. You will understand that in all the lectures we will be dealing. So we would expect you to be serious in listening because we will be asking really you to do live broadcast if in case the national and the regional materials do not materialize. So with that, good morning. Thank you, Jovel, for that. And please, iseryoso ninyo ang pasensya at hindi ako nakapagtagalog kasi it's not my domain. Uh, it's August and it's supposed to be linggo ng, uh, buwan ng wika. So anyway, hindi naman ako Pilipino na supervisor. Ha? So I would say... Be serious in listening and learning the technicality of radio broadcasting because we will be, in a way, scheduling what should have or with the MOU stations we have in Lupon, Baganga, and San Isidro, we will schedule what, should, what modules, what grade levels should be augmented with broadcast. So with your training, if we say this and that, then we expect that you really can deliver a broadcast that can augment a particular module and a particular year level. So that's it. Thank you very much and good morning. 
Okay, maraming salamat po, Ma'am Nancy. Isa sa mga diyosa pala sa nasangay ng Davao Oriental. Walang iba? Nancy, uh, please sumagay sa akin. Ayan, maraming salamat po, Ma'am, Madam. Okay. Ayan, uh, partner, kumustahin po muna natin yung mga participants natin kasi alam ko, um, ang daming nagpa-shout out, partner. Hello nga po pala sa mga taga-Gobjen South. Ayan, lang lalo na po ang Haji Jamery Musa Elementary School at lahat po ng mga districts ng Davao Oriental. Kumustahin mo, partner. Yes po. And ko sa si at sa lahat po ng uh, districts ng Division of Davao Oriental of course. Ng mga kaguroan ng Division Taguyod ng ating mga mag-aaral para sila ay magkaroon ng handang isip at handang bukas. Okay. So sa pagkakataong ito, magsimula na po tayo sa ating webinar. Una po, nating tatalakayin ay ang Principles of Radio Script Writing. At yan po ay ihahatid sa ating ni Mary Lupi Masunag ng Lambangon Central Elementary School SPED Center. Good morning everyone. Here I am again po. We'll be sharing some of the basic principles of radio script writing. I guess some of the participants are school paper advisors who have been participating into press conferences. So medyo familiar na po tayo dito sa radio broadcasting. So it will serve as a refresher. And for others naman po who are not into journalism activities, I guess we all have our respective radio stations in our town. Every day we have heard radio broadcasts especially on news reports of events happening in our town, around the country, and even what's happening around the world. So it's an everyday experience for all of us. And now comes the time, because of this pandemic, we are tasked to really utilize this kind of resources wherein our school children can learn through it. So from the national training, we got the idea on how to transform the self-learning modules into radio scripts for the radio-based instruction, one of the learning modalities that DepEd has made to offer for our learners. So let me start now. I will share to you my screen. Okay, my task now is to refresh you with the principles of radio script writing. This was shared to us by Dr. Trina Lea T. Mendoza, the Dean of College in the Development and Communication of UP Los Baños. So in writing our script, or when we develop our script, it is a prerequisite to think first of the concept or treatment or approaches on how to deliver our radio-based lesson. Because it guides on how to put flesh into the script. It is a short paragraph to justify or explain the choice of treatment. And a detailed summary designed to share the writer's plan for the script with others before an actual script is written. Actually, we can go directly into script writing, but the main point there is, ano ba ang approach na gagamitin ko when I will write the script? And we will discuss some of these treatments or approaches. Number one is straight narration or teacher approach. Includes narration of facts and messages in a straightforward manner. Usually written in third person. It is the most formal and basic way of presenting the subject matter. So this one is the common or the simplest approach. We call it a teacher approach because the manner of delivering our radio broadcast is just like we teach in a normal classroom setting. The second one is the dramatic approach. Consists of characters depicting various roles. The presentation has a conflict, climax, or anti-climax in a resolution. This dramatic approach 
If you would like to present your lesson using characters depicting various roles, pwede pong ganun. Kunwari, may nagsasagutan na characters when you teach your lesson in math, science, or history. Just like also in a story, there is a conflict. Say, for example, a child hardly learns his lesson at first. And there is the parent or a teacher who will instruct and guide them or and guide him on what to do. And then eventually will be able to process his own learning. The main purpose of this approach is to help our student listeners to understand the main theme of the lesson implied in the broadcast. So this is dramatic approach. The third one is you approach. Audiences are addressed directly by the word you. Employs the second person point of view. The script is written as if the writer is talking directly to the viewers. This approach is visible already in the, the self-learning modules or the SLM, which are already very busy printing these days, no? In preparation for the opening of classes comes August 24. It is the most appropriate to be used in radio. It's as if we are writing our scripts like we are talking directly to our students. How we address our learners as you. Example, in the part of the module, especially in the preliminary activities or preliminary pages, the writer is greeting the readers as if acquainting them on what they are going to do with the activities enclosed in the module. For example, in one of the parts of the module, what I need to know, it says there, this module was designed and written with you in mind. It is here to help you master on the blah, blah, blah. So this is you approach. We are already addressing our readers or our listeners as you. Other examples also are commercial and vlogs. The body artists or vloggers are directly talking to their viewers. Next one is the dialogue approach. The basic element of this is conversation. So similar with the dramatic approach, there is characterization, but the difference of the dialogue approach is only through a conversation, not necessarily presenting the conflict or the solution in the end as presented in the dramatic approach. So dramatic approach, medyo kompleto siya, but here in dialogue approach, only conversation. Pwede rin yung Meron din siyang characters. For example, ang lolo at ang kanyang apo nag-uusap. But the main the main theme is the the lesson being presented, no? In the, in the dialogue approach. Next one is the documentary approach. Combination of approaches with the use of voice clips, sound effects to make the presentation more realistic and Credible. So this documentary approach, we often hear or watch documentary stories in in television on television or even on radio. We hear this on radio. It has attachments of interviews of experts. So mas mabusi siya. Needs an intensive preparation of relevant facts. This is documentary approach. The next one is abstract or symbolic approach. Includes sounds and abstract visuals. Ideas may not be stated explicitly and audience makes own interpretation of the information presented. This symbolic approach is seldom used no, during our plugs or not even recommended because as much as possible, we try not to present ideas, big ideas, na hindi masyadong clear. No, we are advised to give clear and precise information during our broadcast. So, hindi ito nirecommend ang abstract or symbolic approach. It is good only for the arts, but not for scientific and technical information. So, 
These are the approaches that we are going to think in preparing our scripts. Let us now continue on the principles in writing for radio. Number one, debrief. Broadcasting is constrained by time. So in writing our scripts, we have to take into consideration the attention span of the listeners, especially if we lack a visual support of any kind. Example, radio news. Maglalas lang po ang radio news for 60 seconds. Number two, personalize. Adjust the style, language, and content of your writing to your intended audience. So it is very important to know our audience, their grade level, so you can give some considerations. Like what we did during the, or during the enrollment period, we have this learner information survey form or the LESF, no? We track who among our learners have an access to radio. Ilan ba ang may kakayahang gumamit ng internet to support their learning and do some researches? Or modular lang ba ang dapat sa kanila? But we see to it that all of them are given equal opportunity for learning. For those of us who will be assigned to write scripts for grade 2, of course, my adjustments po yun, my consideration po yun, for grade 6 or even senior high. There are certain considerations we must take into account like their weaknesses, what are their needs, or what help we can give them so that they can understand better. Isipin din natin kung para kanino ba yung mga sinusulat natin. Are we writing for farmers, for mothers, or for the children, etc. Number three, be clear. Choose simple words. Avoid a long word when a short word will do. Okay. Use simple words that are easier to understand. Remember that every second counts when it comes to broadcasting. Dito matitest yung vocabulary natin to choose simple words pero sakto. Not those words with more syllables that would eventually create confusion in the end. No? So it's better to choose simple words. Number four, be precise. Be precise. We have to be specific no? because of the short span of our airtime. Use words carefully to provide specific meanings. Say what you mean. Unlike in print, we can use a lot of long introductions but not in radio because our airtime is very precious. Imagine a 30-minute broadcast. So, wag na tayong magpatumpik-tumpik pa. We have to be precise on the words that we are using. Say what you mean. How can we be precise? So, we can use also con contractions. What are these contractions? Contractions sound more natural and familiar and easier to read aloud. Examples, instead of using do not, we can use don't. One good tip is that we have to read our scripts aloud because we will know which words may be either hard to pronounce or malalaman natin alin ba ang tongue twister dito. So better to write in a formal way instead na Mag-contract. So that is the exemption. So avoid contractions when you want to emphasize an important point, especially when writing news. Yun din ang mga uh, dapat nating bantayan. Example, the senator does not support the freedom of information bill. So instead na magsabi tayo, the senator doesn't support the freedom of information bill, so we have to balance either Gagamit ba tayo ng contraction na hindi klaro yung idea or better stay informal na lang. Just, just like this example, the senator does not support the freedom of information bill to really emphasize the information. So yun yung mga exemptions na kung gagamit tayo ng contractions. 
Number five, be concise. Every word used must have a purpose for being there. So, hindi lang basta-basta nilagay natin yung word na yun dun sa script. Ta dapat talaga meron siyang um, meaning, specific meaning or purpose. Replace a series of words or phrase with one word that means the, the same. Okay, examples. Instead, nagagamit tayo ng once a week, so we use weekly. Instead of using give testimony, we use to testify. Okay? Rich vocabulary matters then. So we'll have to use shorter words rather than long words. Similar to how we teach our campus journalists in framing up verbs for copy reading and headline writing. No? The shorter the verb, the better. Number six, be concrete. Avoid vague and abstract words. Yan. Same as being concise, we will not use too much adjectives. Again, we are writing for the ear. We don't have visuals to support them. Examples. Okay, words must elicit tangible images. Five-story building, 200-pound woman. So yun. Dapat ano, we have to balance in using adjectives to support the idea or information we wanted to imply. Don't use too many adjectives, yun. Number seven, be informal and conversational. Speak to the audience, not read to them. Involve the listeners, talk to them in a normal conversation. So we can talk to our student listeners or even ask them, and then we assume that we hear their answers. Like asking them, are you ready to learn our lesson today? Then we pause for a while pretending to hear their answer. And then you continue by saying, all right, because you are all set and ready, we shall now hear from our radio teacher our lesson for today. So you are conversational in that sense. Right for the ear, not for reading. So kailangan klaro, klaro para sa kanila. Hindi yung... Um, parang nagbabasa lang tayo. It seems like we are conversing with our students like they are in front of us. Number eight, of course, it is very important. Our script must be readable. Broadcast copy must be smooth and readable. Avoid sibilant words, words with letters S and Z and tongue twisters. During our national training, we are told by Mom Trina to make our script readable because this will be printed or will be reproduced across the country so our other teachers may use them. So it must be readable. We must avoid these sibilant words such as essence, sleep, scent, because not all script writers will be the ones to broadcast their script. Ideally, mas okay sana kung ganun, no? pero hindi. Kasi other teachers, especially those who have potentials in becoming a broadcaster, will be reading them or will be broadcasting them, of course, in radio. Avoid alliterations. So what are these alliterations? The repetition of usually initial consonant sounds in two or more neighboring words or syllables. Common feature in poetry, songs, raps, and other kinds of writing. So, let us avoid these alliterations kasi nakakabulol. Ano ba yung nakakabul nakakabulol sa English? Okay, starter, no? Palagi, palagi tayong ganyan. So, the tip also is to read aloud our script. Read aloud a script. So, read the copy aloud before you hear them. Practice makes perfect talaga. Examples of these alliterations are wild, woolly, threatening throngs, seven sisters. So, ayan, ako nga nabubulol din. Now, let's move on to the principles in writing for radio. Avoid homonyms, no? Okay, kasali pa din ito sa mga principles, no? Avoid homonyms. Ano ba itong mga homonyms? 
each of two or more words having the same spelling or pronunciation but different meanings and origins. Examples, address. Yung address, pwede ang ibig sabihin to speak to or it could be also a location. Bright, pwede maging very smart or intelligent or it could also mean filled with light. Fair, equitable, or beautiful. So let us avoid these homonyms kasi nakaka-create daw ito ng confusion. Avoid also tongue twisters, words or phrases which are difficult to read. So by reading the copy aloud. Okay. Next is observe the one idea, one sentence rule. Avoid overcrowding. So too many ideas in one sentence. So in this case, we must avoid overcrowding. Kasi di ba, pag mahaba na yung sinasabi mo, hindi na magawang sundan ng mga bata. Magtatanong na sila, ano nga ba yung sinabi ni ma'am? So as much as possible, we must have one sentence, one idea. Minsan nga, inuulit pa natin as long as we want to emphasize instruction. The more ideas included in one sentence, the more difficult it is for the audience to understand the information presented. Example. Ayan. Ayan. Attribute sources at the start of the sentence. Number 10, attribute sources at the start of the sentence. Use the active voice. Ayan. Katanduanes, example nito ha, Katanduanes representative has called for an investigation of the reported leakage of this year's nursing licensure examination. So it is nice to hear that at the start of the sentence, we are already giving information. So active voice is preferable to avoid confusion na naman. Number 11, prefer the indirect quotation. This helps in creating a smoother, readable copy. Yan. It is related with number 10. Again, to avoid misinterpretation of the text we are reading. Ito, weak po ito. The president said agriculture needs to be improved throughout the country. Better. The president said that agriculture needs to be improved throughout the country. So at the start of the sentence, we are already giving the sources. Number 12. Provide phonetic spelling for unfamiliar words or jargon. So we have to illustrate or explain difficult concepts. Example, ang Lamesa watershed ay isang reservoir. So this word, reservoir, we should write it or we should emphasize it on how to or how it will be pronounced. O pwede lalagyan natin ng uh, ibig sabihin or meaning. Reservoir or imbakan o mapagkukuna ng tubig. So anong subjects ba maraming jargon? Yes. Sa math. Science. So maganda po na provide na natin ng phonetic spelling. Again, we have to consider the ones reading our scripts. Maybe the scripts written by the DAF or team will be sent to other regions. Baka gusto nilang gawa ng other flavor o mas pagagandahin pa nila, i i ano nila, uh, contextualize o di kaya i-localize. So make sure that the word we are using must be comprehensive. Hensive, na kahit hindi familiar sa kanila pero nilagyan na natin o naipaliwanag ang ibig sabihin, madali, madali na nilang mahanapan kung anong kaparihong salita ang ginagamit nila in their respective places. Number 13, we use transition words para mas malinaw o maganda ang flow. Example, Likewise, administrators of the country's nursing schools support Santiago's call for investigation. So, sa Filipino, sapagkat 
So, mas malinaw, mas madaling maintindihan if you are using transition words. Number 14, repeat the message if necessary. This will make it more memorable for the audience. So, bakit kailangan natin ulitin? Yes, especially if we want to emphasize instructions. This can be seen on the part of a radio broadcast wherein we will be giving assessment. So, if the radio teacher is done giving her lectures or explaining the lessons with sample activities sa na nakalagay sa module, the host will be the one to give assessment questions found in the module. The direction must be read twice so the students can follow instructions. So, masusundan talaga nila. Even in reading questions and choices, if it is in the multiple choice type of an assessment. So, kailang ulitin natin. For example, uh, when we ask in the assessment, what is a sentence? A. Oh, a group of words that express a com complete thought. Again, das, eh, sasabihin mo lahat ng mga choices, eh, ulitin mo na naman. Again, what is a sentence? Masusundan talaga ng mga bata, no? the, the student listeners. Kasi when you give your questions, naka-follow naka din sila, ni, tinitining, tinitingnan din nila sa kanilang mutual ang iyong mga question. Yung mga, naririnig nila sa radio. Example also, uh, when you give your cell phone number, so dapat ulitin kasi kung isang beses mo lang sasabihin, baka hindi nila makuha. So example nito, the number to dial is 5362433. Again, call us at 5362433. Yeah. Number 15, Use abbreviations, acronyms, sparingly and properly. Example, the DOH budget was cut down too. Or the International Monetary Fund or IMF has approved. Okay, maganda daw na yung ating abbreviation, we can spell them out first no? Be before we can give abbreviation. Afterwards na ang abbreviation. Kasi hindi naman lahat ay memorize ang iba't ibang organizations like DepEd, Pag-asa na madalas binagamit. How about WHO? Tapos nabasa talaga ng broadcasters, according to who, the pandemic changes the way of life of people around the world. Tapos maya-maya marirealize niya na, ano nga ba tong who? Ay, World Health Organization pala. So, we must use abbreviations or acronyms sparingly and properly. Yeah. Number 16. Handle figures properly. Round off figures. Example, almost 100 graduates have also filed a petition. A budget of 5,980 was allocated to the municipality. Yan. Round off to the nearest or to the most exact figures. Again, for consideration naman to our oral senses, minsan hindi agad maiintindihan yung mga points. Halimbawa, 91.16. So it's better to round off figures. Avoid beginning sentences with the person's age and in general with any number. So, iwasan din natin yan. We have to spell out dollars, cents, pesos, percent, kilograms, and meters. Spell out fractions like one half, five and a half. Yan. We will avoid these potentials to create misinterpretation or confusion para hindi na mahirapan yung broadcasters sa Pagbabasa. Spell out numbers with, which are used at the beginning of sentences. So maganda isulat ang word. Spell out numbers from 1 to 10 and use numerals for 11 to 999. So yung lesser number from 1 to 10, pwede na in words yun, yun ang pagkasulat. But 
for numbers 11 to 999, pwede na rin numerals na. Number na. Okay. That is all about the principles of, uh, the basic principles of radio script writing. Thank you very much for listening. God bless. Okay, maraming salamat po. And that was Ma'am Mari Lopi Masunag from Lambahon Central Elementary School, SPED Center. Yan, maraming salamat po. Uh, before we proceed to the next po, uh, shout out po natin lahat po ng mga teachers natin dyan. Alam na alam ko na sabik na sabik kayong matuto kung paano gumawa ng script, paano mag-broadcast. Alam na alam ko yan, excited kayo. Kaya hello po sa lahat ng mga taga Don Aurelio Chicote Elementary School at Crispin de la Cruz. And of course, sa lahat po ng mga paralan dyan sa... East Coast, at saka, saka sa ano, Gulf Town po. Ha? Relax lang kayo, chilang. Hold your breath, inhale, exhale, at inom kayo ng tubig para hindi kayo may dehydrate kasi may gagawin po kayong script. Alam ko, excited kayo, ha? Aja, fighting! Labanan natin ang COVID-19. Yan. Okay. Para po sa susunod, uh, hindi na po natin patata uh, patatagalin ito. It is all welcome. Sa basic radio script format po, we have Ma'am Joyces May Arlalejo of Lambahon Central Elementary School, SPED Center. Ma'am, pasok! Good morning everyone. My task is to reorient with you the parts of the basic radio script format. This is the most common format used so far by DepEd and as per recommendation by the University of the Philippines, UP Los Banos. Let me share to you my screen. Basic radio script format. This was presented by Dr. Trina Lea T. Mendoza, Dean of College in the development and communication of UP Los Banos. Guidelines in preparing the radio script. Page layout. This is the basic format. We start with one inch left margin. Source of sound column. You have there the music, narrator, host, or the radio teacher. Reading my characters. Copy blocks. The right side ninyo, ito na yung babasahin ninyo as a broadcaster. For example, uh, this is your script. So, the margin, one inch left. Number two, spacing. Double spaced. It's best to use double space. Bakit po? For easier readability ng broadcasters, uh, hindi nagdidikit-dikit yung pagbasa nyo. And at the same time, for editing purposes, it could be that your scripts dadaan ng maraming pag-i-edit ng subject matter. So, mas madaling ma-edit or mabilis. For example, yan, double space. Number three, page numbering. Page numbering is usually at the top right corner. Doon kasi sa training sample ni Doc Trina is nauna yung number. Pero dito sa sample na napadala sa atin, nauna yung title. So I guess the sample we had now is what we are going to use. Uh, you have there... The title, so write first two or three words of title, then put slash or ellipsis after the title, then followed by the number. For example, so sa title ng script na nagawa ko, um, take a closer look at the character and ending. So two to three words, take a closer look. I, I mean, take a closer, then put ellipsis, three dots, or oh, one, two, three, then make three repetitions. So then the page number, one, two, three. So two, two, two. Again, the format, title, two to three words, followed by three dots or the ellipsis, then the page number. 
number four, line numbering. Line number numbers are at the far left-hand side of the page. Make sure that the numbers dapat nakatapat po. May one sentence per line. So, bakit po natin lagyan nun? The same with the minutes of the meeting. Halimbawa, pag nag-record kayo, kunyari, madaling sabihin na, okay, can we repeat and record line number three? So, ayan po yung kagandahan pag may line number. Source of sound. Can be found at the left portion of the page. Indicate the type of the sound to appear. Use acronym ANNCR for announcer or NARR for narrator. For multiple voices, type the name of the character. Example, Tristan, Carl, Gwen. So those are instructions. So lahat po sila dapat naka capital letters. Source of sound example. So, ito na po. Yan. So, source of sound, radio teacher. My music. Naka up and under. Number six, music cues. Music or MC, MSC appears on the source of sound column. Description of music appears in copy block. All instructions for music are in all caps and underlined. Music is on the left side, so in the copy block, the music will enter up and out, or ibig sabihin nun yung volume ng iyong music ay pataas, and then lalabas na siya, then nag-o off na sa naka-all caps lang po para clear na hindi nyo siya babasahin. Example, yan. So, naka-underline, insert SOA program ID, then music up and under. Number seven, sound cues. SFX or sound effects appears on the source of sound column. So, nasa left side then the description on the right side. Description appears in the copy block. So maganda po maging clear kayo. Ano po yung gagamitin yung approach? So dito na po papasok yung diniscuss kanina ni Ma'am Marie Lumasunag. So for example, dramatic approach ang gagamitin nyo. SFX is on the left side. Then the description of the music is on the right side. For example, zipper of bags open. For example, zipper of bag opens. Or character opens the door and enters. So, doon po ilalagay sa copy block. Copy block. Words to be spoken. Type in upper case and lower case. Everything that will not be spoken, all cups. Directions to actor or, or talents, all cups in parentheses, but not all underlined. So words to be spoken in type and upper case for easier readability. Usually, madaling mabasa, di ba sa libro, pag may upper and lower case. Minsan kasi, nagbabari yung mga script format or for our purposes. Baka maganda po na i-all capital letters, then instructions, the instructions for technicians, yung mga lessons natin pwedeng i-lower case and upper case. Number nine, dividing words. So when we are writing our script, do not divide the word across a page or a word between lines. 
If a paragraph or a sentence carries over to the next page, try to break the copy at a comma or natural pause. Newscaster can change pages more easily. Or kung pwede, naka-period na, hindi yung nasa kabilang page pa yung karugtong ng sentence. For easier readability din and easier recording, minsan kasi narinig pa yung pag-flip sa page. So be careful not to make a sound upon flipping. So it's best to staple the bond paper at the bottom, I mean, at the right side bottom of the paper. So, example, narrator. For instance, the core group of Aroroy received 2.6 million pesos budget for nutrition. Milagros received an increased budget for 2016 as well. So, period na. Number 10, end marks. So, in your script, doon sa dulo, may more. So, balikan natin yung kanina. Yan, may more siya. So, ibig sabihin yan, may kasunod pa. So, as a broadcaster, alam mo na, ah, may kasunod pa ako. Hindi pa tapos yung scripts. So, here, at the end mark, so, at the end marks, use end to signify the end of the script. Yan. So, ito. End na. So, meaning, tapos na yung uh, script na ginawa nyo. So, I guess, dito lang uh, nagtatapos sa aking slides. Hope may natutunan kayo sa radio script writing. This time, I will show you how to insert music using a uh, virtual DJ application. Uh, mas ganahan ko ani kay uh, friendly ka ayos siya, dali ra kayo siya gamiton. And um, bagay ka ayos siya, if, especially kung mag radio broadcasting ka. So let me share to you my screen. So, mag-open lang ta o virtual DJ. So, kay na gamit naman good na ko siya. So, nanadaan siya music, naka-load na daan. So, on saan pag-load o music? Dari lang ni mo hanapon. Ana, i-drag lang ni mo na siya. For example, naka-ana na. So, just hold your mouse and then drag para makita ni mo ang imuhang files. So, hanapin mo asa ni mo dapit gisave ang imuhang music. Like for example, sa ako ah. So, nana ko siya dili gisave. And then, so, hanap na nako ha. Then, audio, then music. So, for, for faster um, uploading or loading sa music, dapat naka-folder na tanan imuhang mga music na gamiton kung ma sa radio broadcasting. kay para pag click ni mo sa folder, automatic makita ang mga music. So, um, uh, reminder, MP3 dapat ang music na inyong gamiton. Kung naka-MP4 na, i-convert na ninyo, daghan man converter online, i-search lang ninyo. So you can also search music in uh, the YouTube. So try na to um, mag I mean ang default ani is two deck pala ang two decks ang default. So unsa on pagbalik for example duha lang ka music yung gamiton so duha lang then kunyari sa ako a four man daghan mo music so for akong gamiton na deck. Mm. So, ang saan pag-load sa music dito sa deck? So, i-drag lang ni mo siya. Yan. Drag, then hold, then pause. Next. Yan. Then, gagamit tayo ng 
pinaka-background natin ng music. Pwede, 30 minutes, kaya pwede na ka magbalik-balik. Next. Insert din tayo ng audience clapping. Ito yung SFX na sinasabi ko kanina. Um, depende kung anong effects ang gagamitin mo. Marami sa YouTube. Makikita nyo, ma-download nyo, then convert nyo lang. Then, so let's try. Ito yung play button. So, sa script natin, meron siyang uh, program, insert SOA program ID. So, for example, wala kayong nagawang program ID, pwede na nyo gamitin yung sa station ID. For example, sa akin, um, baganga station ID ng radyo natin. Play natin. 99.7 Matayaw Matayaw Okay. So, meron din makikita sa script na um, stinger, insert stinger. So, example ito ng stinger. Parang banner o na yun yan. Play natin. Basta madayaw, kuyaw. Yun. Marang naman ng slogan. So, yung pinaka-background music natin, ito. Okay, so, ito na button play, then ito, stop button. So, stop na, naka-cue na yan siya lahat. Pag mag-play ka, mag-play, mag-play, mag-play. Automatic mag-play yan siya. Pwede mo yan sabay-sabayin, pero parang hindi pwede. E crossfade na lang, mas dapat mas maganda yung pagka-crossfade niya. Hindi pwede i-stop mo nang walang music pag nag-radio broadcasting, consider kasi yun na dead air. So, dapat kung walang nagsasabi o nagsasalita, dapat may interval na music. Kasi mahuhulog yun na dead air. <clears throat> so, it's a no-no po sa radio broadcasting yung dead air. So, mag-count ka lang ng one or two kung hindi nakapagsalita yung host, dapat naka-cue in the automatic yung music mo. So, let's try ha. Magbabasa ako ng um, ng script. Tapos, i-apply ko. Ha, ito nga pala yung volume ng mga music. Yan, volume. So, adjust mo lang siya. If, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na um, insert music up. Yan. Up na dapat sa daan. Then, under. Okay. Pag naka-up, meaning walang nagsasalita na, na, na host or radio teacher. Pero pag naka-under, meron dapat nagsasalita. Okay? So, ito yung mas, ma, mas mahirap sa um, radio technical applicator kasi dapat attentive siya doon sa, uh, sa script na um, nakiki, uh, na, na sa script na hinahawakan. I mean, kasi dapat Um, kung hindi na nagsasalita yung host, automatic, i-a-up niya yung music. Ito pala. Yan. I-a-up niya yung music kasi bawal yung dead air. So, kunyari ha. Kunyari ako lang. Ako lang nagsasalita. Education without barrier in learning. Let us be eager and meet challenges. We all stand together. We learn as one. So long, Educadad. Para sa bata, para sa bayan. Airing right here at 99.7 Madayaw FM. This is your school broadcast in grade 3 English. So, yun po. So, makikita nyo na pag um, insert music so wa uh, program ID. So, insert natin yung music. Tapos, um, pati na yung stinger. Ginaanamit ko, ko na din. 
um, may makikita kasi kayong mga post, pwede nyo pag-post yun, pwede nyo gamitan ng music. So, dapat naka, at very attentive yung um, uh, technical applic applicator para hindi mag dead air yung um, broadcasting. So, yun lang. So, now, I will share to you um, an example on how to record yourself using Adobe application, I mean, Adobe Audition during um, mag-broadcast mo. So, nice kaayo sa kay, uh, sa yun ra kaayo gamitan and very friendly. So, let me share to you my screen. So, money siya na up ang ginagamit na mo kung mag-record. Ako. Okay. So, <clears throat> sa yun ra kung mag-record ka, click lang ni mo na. So, automatic na siya mag-record. So, kung mag-stop ka, Pwede ni mo siya i-click ang space bar. Ako. Nan. Kung mag-play put ka, pwede po ni mo i-play ang space bar. Pwede ako undo na to Ben. Yan. Kamo ni siya ang cursor. Na, dagandaga na siya. Kung asa ka gusto mag-play. Yan. Kung balik ka dire sa Premiere, drag lang. So kung stop, space bar. Kung play, space bar gihapon. So, delete na to ni, kaya mag-record ta, try sa script. Pagamayin na to. So, let's try. And before ka mag-ano ha, dapat nakaready na daan, naka-QA na daan ang imuhang mga music. Okay, para dili mataas ang imuhang recording. Education without barrier. In learning, let us be eager. Amid challenges, we all stand. Together, we learn as one. Sulong edukalidad para sa bata, para sa bayan. Airing right here at 99.7 Madayao FM. This is your school broadcast in grades B English. So, so, try na to ha. So, human naman ta. So, stop na to. So, let's try nga. I-play be. Before ka mag-ano nga, dapat makaready na daan. Naka-QG na daan ang imuha mga music. Okay. Para di di mataas ang imuha ng recording. Para ko, anak. So, so nag-istorya man ko ka ganina. Ako ni siyang diliton. Taman. So, Highlight lang ni mo, then press ang delete sa keyboard. Then, play. Taas na kayo akong intro. So, tanggalan na akong gamay. Nangana na siya ka sa'yo. Then, delete. Paan pa na ako. So, let's play again. Without barrier, in learning, let us be eager. Amid challenges, we all stand. Together, we learn as one. Okay, kahit hindi naman akong tingin mo. Pakusga na ito. So, highlight, and then, kanisa, i-drag din mo pataas. Yan. So, para mo pantay siya, pwede rapod ko mo yung gamay. Para mo pantay, highlight, then, drag pataas. Then, play. So, 
So, kus-kus ganat o gamay. Ano sila? Then, play. Tulong ito kalidad para sa bata, para sa bayan. Carried right here at 99.7 Madayal FM. This is your school broadcast in Great Spain English. Okay, so kay pangit naman na isa, pwede natin na siya ma-delete. So, ingunana lang, kanindot, gamiton ang Adobe Audition. Play na to balik. Wala na ako masumpay. Gusto na ako sumpay yung gamay. Yun. Education without barrier. In learning, let us be eager. Amid challenges, we all stand. Together, we learn as one. Nandiyan na kayo sa akong boses. First time na po na ako natra. Para sa bata, para sa bayan. Carry right here at 99.7 Madayaw FM. This is your school broadcast in Great Spain English. So atong kusgan gamay. Yun. Para mas mapantay-pantay siya. So yung anak lang kasi yun, ang Adobe Edition pag-record. So, mag-play-play mo po hon sa inyong radio station. So, it is easier for you to edit. Tapos, submit lang sa inyong radio station para for, ano, play on air. Kung dili ka gusto mag-live, kaya eh, masayot, nandiyan ka mong live feed, no? <laughs> so, kung saan pag-save? Ani ka sa file, then save as. And then, dapat naka-MP3 ang ihang format. Hindi na siya mo-play dito sa radio station kung hindi na siya naka-MP3. Um, RBI, ano naman kaya RBI dito? Grade 3 RBI English. Save. Try na to. Tanawa na to sa file kung Mabali. Okay, mao. Nara. So... Education without barrier. In learning, let us be eager. Amid challenges, we all stand. Together, we learn as one. So, kung magsigit ako practice o recording sa ato sarili, mas ma-improve siguro ato ang boses. Pero ambot lang ang ako, Adam, ma-improve bagay mo. Maragaman siya ang ay. Okay, so, yung nalit lang kasimple ang Adobe Audition na recording app. Nice guy. Tayun lang. So, I guess, um, diri ara siguro ko, ko tob sa ako ang presentation and I do hope na naamoy nakatunan and I'm very thankful for this opportunity. Um, um, thank you, Kaayo, and God bless everyone. Okay, maraming salamat po, uh, Ma'am Joyce May Arlalejo from Lambahon Central Elementary School Sped Center. Yun po yung kanyang webinar para sa topic na basic radio script format. Okay, bago po tayo magpatuloy sa ating uh, uh, susunod na topic, uh, i-announce ko lang po na kapag meron po kayong mga uh, katanungan, uh, paki-comment na lang po sa ating comment section sa ating Facebook Live at sa YouTube channel.
Regional po ng Division of Davao Oriental. Meron pong nagtanong kanina kung meron po bang certificate. Meron pong certificate, pero according to Ma'am Nancy, ibibigay po daw yung inyong certificate after po ninyo na send yung output per district. Maya-maya uh, po ay ipapaliwanan po namin kung paano. Okay? Uh, kanina rin po, na-flash na rin yung link para sa ating attendance. At muli, uh, ito na po yung link para sa attendance ninyo. Ayan, https tinyurlcom slash dub or RBI day one. So, dyan po kayo mag-access uh, para po sa inyong attendance. Okay. Ngayon naman po ay uh, binabati ko upang makapag- Simula na sa kanyang webinar, si Ginoong Raymond Salvania mula sa Katiil Vocational High School para sa SOA or School on the Air for Remote Teaching and Learning Sample Script. Sir? Good morning everyone. I'm Sir Raymond B. Salvania from Katiil Vocational High School. Um, how are you guys doing? I hope that everybody is still on their respective screens ready for the webinar. And I hope that everybody is eager to learn just as how we are eager to wake up this morning. Today I'm tasked to discuss one of the most important and one of the most interesting topics with you. Important in the sense that um, this would help us recalibrate our ideas towards a new normal and it would help us eventually to reach out our students, especially those who live in far-flung areas. Also interesting in the sense that a lot of us will take part in making this modality a reality. Are you guys excited? All right, so my topic is all about school in the air for remote teaching and learning. So just a disclaimer, I don't own this slide, but I use this one since this was also used in one of our original trainings. Okay, so I'll let you see my screen so that you'd have idea or a copy of what I'm talking about. Okay, so SOA or School in the Air for Remote Teaching and Learning. Let's begin with uh, or by discussing the three functions of radio. I believe that we all know what radio is, right? Okay, so the three functions of radio is first to entertain. Okay, if you don't have any access to television or if you don't have uh, cellular phones, and especially if you're living in hinterlands or in a far-flung area, we often use radio as a form of entertainment. There are lots of radio drama, advertisement, and a lot more. So by having this radio, it makes us feel good whenever we feel like we don't have any internet connection. So that's one. Number two is to inform. Uh, basically, radio is one of the most uh, great sources of um, information, um, just like uh, when, whenever we don't have internet connection, we don't have access to television, we use radio to get information. Uh, we use radio to gather any idea about what's happening in the world. So it's really important that in today's world, you know, radio is still existing. So whatever, whatever it is that um, you hear, it is an information, especially now that radio is very important in times of crisis. So even if you don't have television, uh, we are still informed with what's happening with coronavirus and everything. So that's two. Number three is to educate. So the perfect example of that is uh, this school in the air. We use radio as a form of, or as a channel of instruction. Uh, we will educate our students in the form of radio. Educa educational in the sense also that there are a lot of uh, radio programs that, that um, help us inform, educate our students. So those are primarily the functions of radio. Okay, so let's proceed now. What is basically a school on the air? So I know that a lot of you, you know, have this question in their mind, what is school on the air? Are we going to, you know, go somewhere else to have this school on the air? No. Okay, so let's... Uh, further discuss what is this. A school in the air, a specially designed radio program where subject matter is presented systematically and in progressive manner with the ultimate goal of achieving desired results under a teaching learning situation. Basically, this is bringing the classroom setting to a radio-based instruction. 
there are um, subject areas that would be presented. We are bringing these subject areas, for example, Filipino, English, mathematics to a radio program. This is made possible by the Department of Education to see to it that, you know, everybody is included. Everybody's, not, you know, no one is left behind. So even if you're living in a far flung area, as what I've said, you have, you still have the uh, opportunity to learn and the learning will not stop just because of the distance or just because you don't have any um, gadgets that you can use. Because school in the air or radio is instantly connected to everyone. You can have it or if you don't, even if you don't have radio, you can connect or you can tune in or you can listen to uh, to your classmates or to the one who is nearby. Okay, so that's very important that we have this mindset that we are open, that radio can be possible, you know, learning in radio can be possible. Techniques employed are instructional. All the broadcasts are not under classroom conditions. Students listen in their homes by themselves or in groups. So this is what I talked about, that it doesn't have to be in a classroom setting because, you know, classroom, uh, classroom lessons are not visible at this moment. So we bring school in the air to cater everyone, especially those who are in their respective homes, you know, gathering for a learning. So our common goal is that just like what we do in a classroom setting, we have this ultimate goal. So let's go back to the slide number three. The Basinabi Dito now we have we we have ultimate goal of achieving desired results. So kagaya ng sa classroom, um, di ba sa, sa classroom ay batas. But you know, kidding aside, sa classroom, uh, kapag nagdi-discuss tayo, we have objectives. And this objective will help us primarily to attain a certain goal. And our primary goal or ultimate goal is to make a child learn even in the time of crisis. So that's it. Next, so we will discuss the characteristics of school on the air. So ano ba ang characteristics or ang mga makikita natin or dapat natin ma-observe sa school on the air? So kagaya ng paggawa natin, ng is kasi tayo bilang teacher, of course, we know how to make an objective, di ba? As much as possible, our objectives are smart. Ano nga ang smart? Uh, specific, uh, measurable, attainable, uh, relevant, and time-based. So, bago tayo gumawa ng objective or magplan ng isang lesson natin, we should have a question in our mind. So, I think we should have these two questions in our mind before we engage. The first one is, uh, what do we want to achieve? So, ano ba ang gusto nating ma-achieve pagkatapos ng isang lesson in a span of a week or in a span of a month? What do we want our students to be able to perform after graduating from the SOA? So halimbawa, kapag nag-discuss tayo ng Eng sa English, um, ang goal ba natin is para uh, makagawa ng isang sentence or ma-identify ng isang studyante kung ano ba, ang sub uh, ano ba ang subject verb agreement or kung malalaman ba nila pagkatapos ng lesson niyo sa radyo um, paano gumawa or paano magtahi. So, ganun. So, kahit wala, hindi kayo nakikita, importante na magkaroon ka ng clearly defined behavioral objectives sa pamamagitan ng SMART guidance. So, specific, ibig sabihin, um, kung nagdi-discuss ka ng subject-verb agreement, uh, dapat dun ka lang nakafocus. Hindi ka, hindi mo na, hindi ka muna magdi-discuss ng uh, proper pronouns, halimbawa, nag-discuss ka ng um, Raymond goes to the market. So, kung yan ang gusto mong i-discuss sa kanila, huwag mo nang is, uh, huwag mo nang isingit yung, okay, class Raymond is a proper pronoun. So, kasi ang sub, ang gusto mo, na, gusto mo namang i-discuss sa kanila ay ang subject verb agreement. So, dapat specific. Uh, wala nang paligoy-ligoy. Kasi, you know, sa bat, ang mga bata, pag nasa bahay, meron sila tinatawag natin na uh, short attention span. So, kapag masyado nang matagal, medyo, I think, nawawala yung focus nila. M stands for measurable. So, dapat sa 30 minutes, uh, uh, ma-achieve mo ba yan? That is connected to attainability. 
Number four is kung relevant ba siya. So, gaya na sinabi ko, uh, dapat kasi nasa bahay sila, magbibigay ka ng example na mas makaka-relate sila. So, halimbawa, um, magdi-discuss sa science, magdi-discuss ka ng mga plants. So, you would ask them, ano ba mga plants? Na, may, may mga plants ba kayo nakikita sa bahay ninyo? May mga plants ba si mama ninyo or si papa ninyo? So, kapag sila, of course, they would answer yes kasi wala namang sigurong bahay na walang plants. So, dun uh, maglo-localize ka para yung attention ng bata, yung uh, attention ng bata is nakukuha mo. So, in that sense, nagiging relevant ka sa kanila. And the last one is time-based. So, yun, sinabi ko na um, ma-achieve mo ba ito? At saka um, sa science din kapag nag-discuss ka ng frequent hand washing. So, this is uh, timely because this is connected to the coronavirus sa dapat para mag, maiwas sa sakit, dapat ganito ang mga gagawin. So, you know, smart is, uh, is of high importance sa paggawa ng objectives sa school and air. Next is, kapag nagdi-discuss ka rin ng principles or understand, you want that child to understand the principles of photosynthesis. So, ang photosynthesis, lalong-lalong na kung, of course, first time nila yan marinig or kung narinig mo nila, hindi pa nila alam, kung pa, 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 paano mo um, mapapaintindi sa mga bata ang principles ng photosynthesis na nasa ra, radyo ka lamang. So, by describing, you give um, a lot of examples. So, dito rin papasok yung pagiging creative ng teacher or paggamit ng localization. Kasi nga sabi ko, uh, kung ano yung mas makaka-relate sila, uh, doon ka magdadwell. At saka, situate that the most important details lang ang uh, ibibigay, ibibigay mo sa kanila. Kasi kapag you dwell on to a lot of things, I think na hindi nila masyado mong susustain yung kanilang focus. So yun, legalization is the key. Okay pa ba tayo dyan? Okay, good. Characteristics of, another characteristic of so it is, it is well planned. Kasi nga, sa radyo tayo, di ba? So bago tayo mag-engage sa radyo, dapat meron tayong mga clear objectives. Everything must be prepared and completed before the start of the school term. So halimbawa, sa August, mag, uh, magsisimula yung klase. So dapat ngayon pa lang may mga um, plano na tayo. So ito, example ito yung paggawa natin ng webinar. This is an example of planning for us to be able to, for us to be ready kapag sinalang na tayo sa ating kanya-kanyang mga school or sa kanya-kanyang radio stations. So dapat uh, kasali yan sa pagpaplano. Number three, it is composed of a single definite subject matter. So, I think hindi ko na ito dapat explain kasi napaka, ano lang, napaka simple ito. So, you just focus on one thing per subject matter. Next is, subject matter is presented in a progressive manner. Topics should be systematic in successive order. So, paano ba tayo hindi discuss sa ating classroom setting? Kasi, di ba, una... Um, we will reveal the objectives. So para may alam ng mga bata, ah, ito pala dapat ang dapat namin ma-achieve ma ngayong araw. So pag-present pag ko ng objectives, so magkakaroon ka muna ng mga motivation until such time na i-reveal mo na yung topic. So hanggang sa dadating ka sa point na magkakaroon kayo ng assessment or short list. So, dapat ganun ang order. Ngayon, tinatawag natin systematic or in successive order. Kasi, um, kapag nagkaroon tayo ng quiz, um, kung ganun ang motivation natin, yun ang uunahin natin. Uh, para ang mga bata, kung sa manisipuan, ma'am, uy, ka na, or si sir, uy, na uh, mag-quiz man tayo, nakakamit pa lang namin, di ba? So, dapat you should observe the successive order, the systematic order in presenting your lesson through a radio-based instruction. Next, let's discuss the characteristics of SOA or School in the Air. It's a cooperative project of the radio station and a cooperating agency. So right now, uh, if we try to look at the status quo, the Department of Education is um, having a partnership with the different radio stations here in Davorita, specifically um, um, there was a memorandum of agreement and a memorandum of understanding signed between the two parties, the radio station and the division of the Oriental. So I think merong tatlong radio station na nakamuha na ang Baganga station, ang San Isidro, and I think 
lupon, if I'm not mistaken. So, may mga teachers na pupunta magbibigay ng instructions sa mga respective radios na sinabi ko. Okay. SOA Mechanics. We have, in SOA Mechanics, we have three pre-broadcast activities, broadcast proper activities, post-broadcast activities. So, ano ba ang mga pre-broadcast activities na dapat natin i-observe? Una, ang preparation, of course, uh, syllabus. So, I think sa part natin, I think it's, uh, um, hindi ako nagkakamali, ah, uh, ibibigay na lang to sa atin, di ba may tinatawag tayo ng MELC or MELC? So, dun nakabase kung ano yung discuss natin, nagagawa natin ng script sa radio-based instruction. So, of course, dun naman talaga, kaya nga nag-trim down o oh, ang ating mga competencies para mas makater ang pangangailangan ng bata or mas ma-achieve, mas achievable siya. Number two is enrollment campaign. So, enrollment campaign, um, ito yung pag, sorry, uh, ito yung pag uh, enroll natin sa uh, mga bata. Kasi, di ba, wala tayong sudyante kung, uh, wala tayong radio-based instruction kung walang mga bata. Sa enrollment campaign din, kasali dito, ang pag encourage sa mga bata na uh, to engage in a radio-based instruction. Number three is pre-broadcast examination. Number four is writing of radio scripts. So I think kanina na-discuss na kung ano ang mukha ng radio scripts. Okay, so you will also be uh, trained kung paano gumawa ng isang radio script. I think it's just so simple. Kung meron lang kayong, um, mamaya itatry ko papakita sa inyo ano ang mukha ng isang radio script. Kasi kapag pinapakita na yun sa inyo, immediately magkakaroon kayo ng idea ano, paano gumawa ng isang radio script. So, para din gumawa kayo ng isang objective na medyo 15 pages. So, I know na kayang-kaya niyan yan. Pero I know na kanina na-discuss na yan. Okay? So, number five, recording of lessons or lectures. Yun ang mga pre-broadcast activities. Okay, next. Broadcast proper activities, orientation broadcast. So sa orientation broadcast, you will, be, of course, sa, sa part ng teacher, ma-orient siya kung ano ang dapat niyong gawin uh, when he or she engage, uh, in, engages in uh, broadcast activities. Tapos sa part din ng teacher sa, towards the students, at the teacher should orient the rules and regulations or the etiquette that students need to observe while uh, engaging to a uh, radio-based instruction para mas achievable yung learning experience ng mga bata. Number two, motivating students. So just like what we do in our classroom setting, di ba, para mas mag-gain ng attention ng mga bata, we motivate them, we have motivational activities for students to get excited in our lesson or in our discussion. So um, you just ask, I think questions will do, like, Kumain na ba kayo? Or you just crack a little joke that would, you know, invite their attention. Number three, in-broadcast tests. Uh, ang in-broadcast test is ito na yung pag-engage uh, mo na magsimula ka ng klase mo. Number four is monitoring students' progress. So generally, kagaya din ang ginagawa natin sa classroom, nagkakaroon tayo ng monitoring ng assess, uh, di ba, nagkakaroon tayo ng assessment or yung mga short quiz, summative, uh, quarterly examinations. And after these things, uh, minomonitor dapat natin kung ano ang progress ng bata. Especially now, na nasa, ginagamit lang natin ang radio as, you know, as, as a medium of instruct, or as a form of instruction. Hindi natin nakikita ang bata na guys sa classroom na sasabi tayo, we would just say na, Okay, pass your paper. Hindi ganun. So, dapat monitor natin ang mga bata kasi una, malalaman natin kung naging effective ba yung lesson natin sa radio. Number two, kung naging effective ba ang, naging effective ba tayo as teacher sa kanila. Number three pa lang, para malaman natin kung saan tayo mag adjust at kung ano pa dapat natin improve So, I think it all boiled down to those things. So, monitoring students' progress plays a vital role in the development of the students in the time of crisis. Next, post-broadcast activities. 
general course review. So you review the milk or the the subject matter. Number two, post broadcast examination. Ang post broadcast examination is alam ba tapos na kayo. So pwede rin, this is in a form of assignment, pwede rin ganun, or another form of assessment. Number three, or parang ito na yung summative at the wrap up what you have discussed. Number three is uh, graduation. Ang graduation halimbawa sa isang buwan, uh, tapos na kayo, or sa isang quarter, tapos na kayo. Of course, I think it's really fundamental that you give recognition para sa graduation ninyo, mag-feel ng mga bata na ang, para ang galing lang na naging imposible pala na nakalearn ako sa pamamagitan ng radyo. So, you would also highlight the roster of your um, achievers para mas ma-motivate. At saka magbigay ka rin ng mga, uh, mga ng feedback sa mga hindi masyado na excel na you do better. You know, we have this parang difficulty. So, I understand that you did not parang excel, but I know that you can do well in the next um, radio-based instruction that we're going to have. Conduct of follow-up activities. So, sa conduct of follow-up activities, um, pwede rin, alimbawa, uh, na-graduate na, graduation na, uh, conduct of follow-up activities, um, dito papasok yung mga post-examination ninyo. Kasi di ba sa classroom, or sa school natin, nagkakaroon tayo ng post-examination. So, pwede rin itong papasok sa pamamagitan pa rin ng radyo. Evaluation of the SOA program. So, this is the general evaluation sa ating school and there. Pwede hindi na to teacher, I think, sa mga na mga heads na ang mag evaluate nito. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa mga SOA mechanics. Ngayon naman, ang sample SOA format for a uh, 13-minute Lesson. So sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, ang ating school on the air or radio-based instruction ay meron lamang po tayong 30 minutes na magklase sa ating mga radyo. So una, uh, program, opening or intro is one minute. So uh, I'll let you hear kung ano ang sample ng isang intro, okay? Okay, wait for a while. So, okay pa ba tayo dyan? I hope na slowly by slowly meron kayong natutunan because I'm trying my best to deliver and share what I know as well in the radio-based instruction. Okay, so limbawa in English. Good morning, our dear grade 3 learners. This is your school of the air in English. We are very happy to be with you through radio-based instruction. This is Sir Raymond Bisalvania from Katil Vocational High School, Katil, Dako Oriental. Please make sure that you are in a comfortable place in order for you to hear our broadcast clearly and effectively. Um, just a question. Have you guys eaten already? If your answer is yes, very good. So that you would be able to understand the topic that we are going to discuss today. So, yun lang ang isa sa mga sample ng um, introduction or intro. Okay, next. Feedback portion, five minutes. So, ang feedback portion, magre-refer ka nito sa previous na ginawa ninyo. Iba rin yung pre review of the previous lesson. Uh, kung ano ba, may sasabihin ka ba sa mga naging uh, performance nila or sa naging how, you know, the previous lesson went well or kung ano ba ang masasabi mo. So, that's feedback. Alam niyo naman kung anong feedbacking. The feedbacking portion is five minutes. So, kasi uh, dito ka nagkakaroon ng time na eh, parang uh, you would just say a little bit of what happened. So, para maging anala sila, maging ready. Review of the previous lesson. Review of the previous lesson, five minutes. So, you know, alam niyo naman kung ano, papa, papa, ano mag-review ng lesson. Anyway, you'll be given a script for you to have a copy, right? Musical break. So, bago tayo medyo pumunta sa seryosong usapan, um, magkaroon muna tayo ng musical break. So, yung mga nahi, yung mga uso-uso ngayon, lalong-lalong yung mga nakikinig ng mga bata sa, nakikinig ng mga bata sa uh, TikTok, ba? So, pwedeng ganun, para naman, oy si teacher, parang uh, into music. Dahil, dyan, gusto ko siya, parang ganun. So, two to three minutes lang. 
so the 10 minutes is for the lecture of the day. So ito yung lesson proper mo. So tandaan mo na sa 30 minutes at uh, 10 minutes ka lang magkakaroon ng klase. So you have to be you have to observe smart guy. Kasi 10 minutes lang yun, di ba? Unlike sa classroom natin na we have 50 minutes or we have 40 minutes, parang ganun. So lecture for the day, 10 minutes. Brief review of the day's lesson, 3 minutes. So wrap up. You wrap up what you have just discussed para mas tumatak talaga sa mga bata. Kasi nga, mahirap kasi nasa radyo lamang. Okay, so importante na magkaroon kayo ng brief review of the lesson. The next one is announcement or reminder. So Kung meron ka announce sa mga bata na sa next meeting, ganito, or do not forget to answer your assignment, or do not forget to um, do the task that I gave you. So that's two minutes. Closing or extra one minute. Okay, so mag, uh, magsasample ako ng isang closing or extra para marinig ninyo. Hindi ko pa mapapakita ang script pa. Pero mamaya, I'll let you see it so that you would have um, idea kung paano ba ang mukha ng isang script. Okay, so ganito ang extra. Isang extra naman ang ating natapos upang mas maunawa ninyo pa ang ating aralin o course mga pa. So that's the sample extra that I just gave you. Um, so now I'll let you see um, the part of the script. So para may idea kayo kung ano ba ang mukha ng isang script. Okay, so wait for a while. So Okay, so this is the sample script. Okay, so dito tayo magsimula sa taas. Okay, so ganun. Ganito ang mukha. Um, but I know that this would be very easy pag meron na kayong kopya. You just have to, you can actually edit this and you can just write your script um, para hindi na kayo mahirapan pa. Okay, so it is...
Eh, ayan. Oh, kumusta po kayo dyan? Relax lang, ha? I'm sure na ang uban, na wala ka may pro, okay lang laban, Japon. Ganyan ang guru, ganyan ang teacher. Palaban. Ayan. I'm sure na excited po yung mga radio teacher natin dyan. Relax lang kayo, ha? Yung mga radio teacher, parang nagtuturo lang kayo sa classroom. Okay lang yan. Yung mga writers, magaling yan. I'm sure, hinihine na nag-aginod sa pagsulat ra. No? Okay, para sa last portion po ng ating webinar ngayon, ngayong umagang ito, ay ating pakinggan po. Pero bago iyan, balikan po natin si Sir Raymond Salvana. Sir, balik muna sir, ipagpatuloy mo po. Tayo simula sa taas. Okay, so ganun. Ganito ang mukha. Um, but I know that this will be very easy pag meron na kayong kopya. You just have to, you can actually edit this and you can just write your script um, para hindi na kayo mahirapan pa. Okay, so ito yung sinabi ko kanina na may title, may topic, may format, may length, that's 30 minutes, the script writer, the objective, and uh, may line dito, nakasali yan sa bilang. Tapos may mga number dito sa kile. Para, para saan ba ang mga lines? Ang lines para... Uh, halimbawa, yung kasama mo, may kopya din, tapos may sa sasabihin mo na, ah, there's something wrong sa line number 13. So, hindi nyo na kailangan mag, um, mahirapan pa para hihanapin mo sa inyo ang mali. So, you just have to say the number. So, ito yung tulong ng number na nasa gilid. So, good morning our dear grade 3 learners. This is your school in the air in English. We are very happy to be with you through our rainy base instruction. This is Raymond Bisalvania from Katil Vocational High School, Katil Davao Oriental. Please make sure that you are in a comfortable place in order for you to hear our broadcast clearly and effectively. So, just a quick question. Have you guys eaten already? If your answer is yes, very good. So that you would be able to understand the topic that we are going to discuss today. So, ito hanggang sa pinaha uh, last. So, ito yun. Dito. Yan. So, ganun lang. Tapos, mayroon pa palang more. Ito yung nakikita natin, more. So, more ibig sabihin, may, may next page pa. Tapos, may mga page number. Okay? So, yun. Ang mukha ng isang script. Balik tayo sa presentation ko. So, I think that's it. So, for more information, uh, hindi ito ang ano, hindi ito yung Facebook page, but you can just uh, reach out through the division page or the division of the Oriental page, and uh, we will just send the link if there is a need for us to do so. Okay, so I think um, wala nang katanungan. Uh, I think I done my part. I've done my part. So that ends my presentation in the school in the air for remote teaching and learning. I hope uh, you're able to learn a lot of things that would help you be an effective teacher in your radio-based instruction. Once again, this is Sir Raymond. Good morning and have a good day. Bye! And that was Sir Raymond Salvana of Katiel Vocational High School. Maraming salamat po, Sir. Ayan, kumustahin po muna yung mga teachers natin dyan from Division of Davao Oriental. Kumusta po kayo? Ginhawag lalong? Ginhawag lalong. Kaya I'm sure na very excited kayo gumawa ng scripts. At I know na excited yung iba, yung mga radio teacher natin. Matry nyo yan. Kaya adya fighting kayo. Sabay-sabay natin labanan ang COVID-19. Ayan. Kuhita yung katapad. Kumusta ka? Sabihan mo. Ha? Ha? Okay, Chila, nga, shout, uh, shout out po muna kang hashtag Roy G. Garing of Nangan Elementary School. Hello po. At saka sa lahat po ng mga teachers of Banay Banay Central Elementary School. At sa lahat po ng mga hindi na mention, ang dami po kasi dito. Let's proceed para sa ating next ng basic rules and techniques in radio broadcast. Palakpakan po, na, uh, palakpakan po natin ang galing po sa Bagangga National High School. Yeah! We have Sir Lester Galon Cantunes. Yeah! Sir, pasok. Sir? Kumusta? Okay, hintayin po muna natin si Sir ha kasi nag-due process ublo pa. Hi, good day everyone and welcome to our session. I am Lester Helen Alcantones from Baganga National High School 
And today, we will be talking about the basic rules and techniques in a radio broadcast. And so, let me share now to you my screen. But before that, let us all be guided by these objectives. At the end of the program, you are all expected to gain holistic understanding on the different elements and approaches involved in radio broadcasting and identify the essential factors affecting a high quality broadcast material. I know that in the past, most of us, if not all, have lived and have grown up in a community where we are all exposed to radio. Minsan nakikinig tayo sa radyo sa mga balita or nakikinig tayo sa radyo sa ibang ibang drama. So by the way, what is radio broadcasting? Or what is a radio broadcast? A radio broadcast is consists of listening to music and radio drama. Take note, music is an important factor in a radio broadcast as it gives an emotion to the story. It is simply an information, the gathering, the management and dissemination of what we want other people to know. So here are some basic tips in a radio broadcast. Number one, make sure that it is conversational. So ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng conversational? When you say conversational, you have to sound like the usual conversation. It must not sound like scripted or prepared. Second, consider what makes your audience. Dapat alam natin kung sino ang nakikinig sa atin so that we will be able to know how to deliver our lesson for senior high school. You have to deliver it like when you're talking to senior high school or when you're talking to the elementary pupils or junior high school students. And the third and the most important is time element. If you try to go back to our lesson plan, time element is of great importance. It is where we know where we give our assessment. It is where we know where we give our generalization. Just like in a radio broadcast, time element also is very important for us to have the right track and to be in the right pace. Here are some essentials in radio broadcasting. For those school paper advisors or coaches of radio broadcasting, you already know the difference between a live material and canned material. So what do you think I'm doing now? Okay, this is a canned material. But let's try to differentiate a live material. A live material is something that is produced outright at the time of airing. So, kung ano lang yung nandun during sa airing. So, everything is natural. While in canned material, these are pre-produced or recorded. So, gaano nga ba ka-importante or kahalaga ang canned material? Canned material helps us to be more creative because it gives us enough time, it gives us ample time to edit our work. Especially, for example, when you are giving a story or telling a story to students who are listening. So, pwede ting lagyan ng mga sound bites, ng mga background music, and others. Okay, another thing, the voice material. This refers to the human voice in diverse projections. What do you mean by pro diverse projections? For example, you are telling a story about a grandmother and a grandson. So you have to sound, even if you're only one, you have to sound like a grandmother or a grandson. Music usually is the synthesizer of the production as it sets the mood. Try to imagine. You try to imagine watching Malala Mukaya without music. Do you think maiiya ka? Hindi. Because music helps us to set our mood. Okay. You try to watch comedy movies. Hindi tayo natatawa by just listening to their jokes. Natatawa tayo at nadadala tayo because of the music that is being used. The use of music must be carefully considered and appropriated. Okay. Next is the sound effects. They add a thrilling Dramatic effect and creativity to the production format. But we have to be very mindful that we need to be careful in selecting our sound effects. Only use sound effects that are appropriate to our lesson or to our story. Next is the spill. What is the spill? This is or these are uttered voices 
or altered voice materials that are either spontaneous or scripted. For news radio broadcasts, we call this as the opening billboard or the closing billboard. Or pwede tayong gumamit ng something that best describes our program. So hindi necessary na spontaneous siya. See to it that when you use a spontaneous spill, see to it that it's creative. Okay. Like, ano ba yung mga spill natin? Like, kapag narinig natin yung TV Patrol, ano sinasabi ng TV Patrol? In the service of the Filipino people. There is a spill. Okay. Next is silence. Gaano nga ba kahalaga ang katahimikan in radio broadcasting instruction? Silence sometimes appears to be a material sound effect that is applied as a necessary demand of the concept illustrated through the script but should not be used as an excuse to commit dead air. In a radio broadcast, news radio broadcast, if you commit three second silence that's already considered as a dead air, but in a radio broadcast instruction, especially that we are delivering our lesson, so hindi po natin uh, kinoconsider yung mga up to five seconds na silence as a dead air because they might be part of the lesson, especially when you are telling a story. Okay, these are some common terms for directorial instruction. Okay, for those coaches of radio broadcasting, for those school paper advisors, you know this or you know some of these common terms. Number one is fade up. What do you mean fade up? Fade up. Okay, when you say fade up, they refer to the gradual voice increase of the broadcast content or material, especially music or sound effects. Okay, fade up is palakasin natin yung music or anything. Next, fade under is kabaliktaran ng fade up.
casting instruction. Silence sometimes appears to be a material sound effect that is applied as a necessary demand of the concept illustrated through the script, but should not be used as an excuse to commit dead air. In a radio broadcast, news radio broadcast, if you commit three second silence, that's already considered as a dead air. But in a radio broadcast instruction, especially that we are delivering our lesson, so hindi po natin uh, kinoconsider yung mga up to five seconds na silence as a dead air because they might be part of the lesson, especially when you are telling a story. I know you. Okay, these are some common terms for directorial instruction. Okay, for those coaches of radio broadcasting, for those school paper advisors, you know this or you know some of these common terms. Number one is fade up. What do you mean fade up? Fade up. Okay, when you say fade up, they refer to the gradual voice increase of the broadcast content or material, especially music or sound effects. Okay, fade up is palakasin natin yung music or anything. Next, fade under is kabaliktaran ng fade up. They are called as fade to bed refers to the gradual volume decrease of the broadcast content or material that are being played in background level. So fade under. Pero hindi po siya fade out. Because fade out is different from fade under. A fade under is hinihinaan lang natin yung volume. Pero hindi siya nawawala. Kapag sinabi natin fade under and fade out, hinihinaan natin yung volume and at the same time, pinapatay natin yung music. Okay. Fade out refers to the gradual volume decrease of the broadcast content up to its cutting. Talagang ini-end natin yung music. Okay, estab or establish. It refers to the broadcast content being played at a steady level for a period of time. But let us be very careful. Because sometimes an established background music can sometimes ruin your radio broadcast. So your technical director should know when to fade out, when to fade under, when to fade okay, up. Cross fade with. An example of a creative okay, maneuver of music where the second music material is played following the first without immediately being noticed. Okay, usually both materials appear to be connected as both have almost the same rhythm, melody, and acoustics. Okay, segue to. Okay, this is segue to. Okay. Contrary to cross-fading, this technique is using the second material to establish a different scene or perspective. Okay, thank you. Sneak in. Another example of a creative maneuver where a material is being played to steal attention or emphasize a particular scene. What in by sneak in? Yung mga music. Yung parang chik chik. Yung mga ganun. Okay, mga sound effects in siya. Those are sneak in. Okay, off mic. What do you mean by off mic or off microphone? Intentionally done as a creative maneuver to elicit an impression of being far from the scene. For example, you are telling a story. How will you give? Okay, how will you illustrate an off mic? Ano ba ang ginagamit ng off mic? Okay. Ano bang ginagamit natin sa off mic? Ano ano anong gamit ng off mic? Ang off mic ay ginagamit natin para magkaroon ng yung mga audience ng imagination na may tumatawag sa malayo. How do we do it? We put the microphone here. Okay, near our mouth. Pinapalayo natin yung off mic para magkaroon ng illusion na yung taong okay, nagsasalita ay nasa malayo. For example, Basilio. So nilalayo natin yung mic para magkaroon ng ano ng illusion na malayo yung taong nagta tumatawag kasi if nilalagyan natin yung mic dito tapos sumigaw ka ng Basilio or Basilio, hindi siya nagkakaroon 
ng illusion na malayo yung tao. Okay, taping time refers to the actual airing or production time where the audience are expected to observe at most silence so as not to disrupt, destroy, or destabilize the production concept. Okay, next. Queuing is the preparation of the canned materials prior to taping time so as to ensure that it is being played as scheduled. Okay, dead air. I already have mentioned, once nagkaroon ka ng silence for three seconds, that's already dead air. Pero depende yan siya sa ating radio, sa ating radio base instruction. Pag nagkakomit ka ng three seconds na silence, hindi na kinoconsider natin na uh, dead air. Kasi nga, baka part siya ng lesson. Okay, next. Pinning the meter, it means excessive volume level. So, sino ang nagsasabi ng pinning the meter? It's the director because it's the director that identifies kung ano nangyayari during the production. Okay. Here, since this is a radio broadcast, the most important thing that we need to learn is the production of a radio voice. I don't know how I sound to you, pero let's try to ano. Okay, natin to. Okay, just like beauty, just like beauty. A prominent voice lies in the eyes of the beholder. As humans, our verbal communication depends on two things. What we say and how we say it. Okay. So, here we go now. So, how we say it? How do we say some words and what words do we actually say? Pinipili ba natin yung mga sinasabi natin? Okay. So here are some, here are three pillars for a great radio voice. Okay, letter A is knowing your voice. Getting to know one's voice is the most critical aspect of the components. It's the most critical aspect of the components among these three. You need to know your voice, whether your voice is for you or whether it is against you. Meron mga babae that na, uh, who sound like lalaki, and meron mga lalaki who sound like babae. So this element also applies to newcomers coming into the broadcasting industry. The newbies need to have a rich natural voice to sound confident in their presentation. You have to know your voice. Saan ang weakness natin? Okay, sa mga bilabial sounds ba? Or saan ba? Okay, that is why you need to know the proper place of articulation, okay, different voices, you need to know uh, the different phonemes, okay, like that. Okay, letter B is to get acquainted with your microphone and quality is of importance. By using your personal computer headsets, these are not best advices to use on radio because they might be useful when talking to people through telecommunication to use on radio. They might be useful only to people using Skype, but not broadcasting. So yung ginagamit natin ng ating mga, mga headsets, hindi yun advice for the radio broadcasting. So the sound design for, the, for headsets are not suitable for dissemination purposes. So bakit hindi pwede yung mga headphones because they are not designed for radio broadcasting. So unlike in the earlier years of the millennium, Microphones are relatively cheap and more accessible to secure nowadays. And you can either go to a local electronics or to order online. So whatever venue you choose, microphone quality should be at the forefront of the decision. So that is why it's very important to check your microphone before starting your broadcast. Okay, the third, utilize audio processing. Sino ang dapat meron alam nito? Itong utilizing audio processing. It's the technical director. By the way, before we proceed, a technical director should also have a copy of the script. Bakit kailangan merong copy ng script? Si technical director. Bakit? So that he will be oriented about what the anchor is saying.
Okay. So let us continue. Okay, nandito na tayo sa uh, utilizing audio processing. Sorry, karoon ng uh, technical problem. Okay, utilize audio processing. Did you know that every single commercial radio station is using some audio processor? Nagkakaroon na ng mga audio processor. It's, it's true, yes. The stations use audio processing in enhancing the vocal presence of a presenter. But of course, kailangan talaga magkaroon ng good voice si Anchor or yung, yung si feature broadcaster natin. An audio processor isn't a tool only reserved for radio presenters. Other voice actors can also benefit from it too. When employed correctly, audio processors are a great way to add presence to one's voice while giving more punch to it. Okay, with these pillars in mind, it's time to learn about tips that can help in mastering your radio voice. So what are other techniques? Okay, here are some tips to master your radio voice. Okay, what are this? Here we go now. Letter A is to practice your radio voice regularly. By consistently exercising our body, our muscles house in the throat canal, dito. Thus, strengthening the vocal cords will require a kind of voice exercise. The more training you do on your voice, the more it shall transform into a powerful voice. But let us just be very careful in practicing our voice. This is just a personal experience. Actually, I have a vocal nodule, so that is why I have a harsh voice like this. So don't abuse your voice. When exercising, make sure to hit the high and low octaves of your voice range. To achieve such levels, you'll need to choose words having specific sounds. It is essential to repeat the chosen words by hitting the vocal range with a well-controlled tension. Okay, letter B. Regularly articulate words that sound difficult to you. What are those words that are so uh, difficult for you to, to articulate? Okay, pronouncing some words can be very difficult, even to the most learned person. Some underlying reasons for this struggle might be due to either a person's accent or the rare usage of such words. Various people are coping with such problem by incorporating synonyms to their speech patterns. However, there is a better way to tackle word embarrassment. So, ano nga bang gagawin natin? The best exercise is by looking yourself at the mirror. Do you look yourself at the mirror before going out to the house to avoid a little embarrassment? The same applies to the enunciation of words in public. Therefore, you have to go in front of the mirror and start practicing saying its difficult words slowly and correctly. And please do not mumble because this is for your own benefit. So if you're suffering from an accent interference, try exercising with tongue twisters. Make sure to use a rapid pace when articulating tongue twisters. Over time, your brain will learn to pronounce those words effortlessly and correctly. I know that you know that those words are already part of our schemata. And whenever we, we, we see them, whenever we read them, we actually have, or they're actually activated to be part of, of, of different accents. Okay, the letter C is record your radio voice practices and replay them to check in on your progress. So have you ever heard of Confucius? Yeah, I think we know, everybody knows about Confucius. When he said, learning without reflection is a waste. Reflection without learning is dangerous. So don't just adhere to the first two tips above or to the first two tips that I have just given you. 
and assume you are improving. How will you know about the mistakes? Paano natin malalaman ang ating mga mali if we don't reflect? After reflecting, ano ginagawa natin? Do we learn? Because according to Confucius, reflection without learning is dangerous. So furthermore, replaying the recordings over time will enable you to learn about the qualities of your voice. Letter D, record your radio voice practices. Okay, parin sila. Okay, next is keep your voice natural and authentic. No matter what you've heard in your lifetime, it is impossible to change your voice truly. Even with the rapid adv advancement of technology, we are yet to attain a real-time voice changer that's invisible to everyone around us. For those who purposely try to sound too different, sooner or later, the practice will backfire on them. So therefore, instead of shooting yourself in the foot to try and satisfy our stereotype, let us all focus on speaking in our natural voice. Even if our audience changes in terms of age, religion, race, or region, please let us not deliberately enhance our dialect too much. So let us not try too much with them. Okay, next is purposefully connect to your listeners. Listeners turning into a radio station don't just want entertainment. Hindi lang sila nakikinig na radyo dahil gusto nilang malibang. They also thirst to be informed and educated, just like our students. As a radio voice actor, research is the backbone of our profession, of our job. We'll need to inform, to be informed on the latest formal speech in the right way of connecting with our listeners. Okay, next is avoid drop, dropping off at the end of a thought. What does it mean? Avoid dropping off. So it is essential to remain consistent in your line of thought. Yung parang may susunod, dapat wala na yun. Don't leave an idea or concept unfinished by trailing off topic. Make sure you're expressing them dependably. So I hope that you have learned some basic rules and techniques in our radio broadcast. Thank you so much everyone for watching. And I hope that you enjoy today's session. Thank you so much and God bless us all.
Ayan. Maraming salamat po, Sir Lester. Sir Lester Hilon, Cantones of Baganga National High School. Ayan, kamusta kayo dyan mga teachers? Nahinay na magtimo kay kailangan sudlan ng tiyan kay para mamaya makagawa ng script po. Okay, announcement lang po. Uh, bawat district po, kailangan makagawa po ng isang output. Magpili lang po kayo kung ano yung subject, anong asignatura yung pipiliin po niyo para sa sample po for tomorrow. Uh, sir Aljon, any announcement po, sir? Ayan. Ay, nakabalik na po kami. So, yun po yung mga topics na ating uh, na i-discuss po sa atin ng ating mga speaker. So, antabayan nyo na lang po mamaya yung ating open forum kasi meron pa po po tayong topic. Yun po yung i-discuss mamaya nila uh, Sir Van at, ni, at nung kasama po niya. So, ngayon po, uh, mag-lunch po muna tayo. Lunch break po muna tayo. At uh, huwag niyo pong kalimutan yung link para po sa ating attendance. Pwede po bang i-flash sa screen yung ating attendance, link for attendance. At meron po tayong open forum mamaya, doon po natin i-cater yung inyong mga uh, questions na uh, ipinose nyo po kanina o pinoment nyo po kanina sa ating comment section. So ngayon po, paalam po muna at magbabalik po kami mamaya uh, alauna po ng hapon. Maraming salamat po sa pakikinig.